Um, ASAP Rocky speaks out about the viral mosh pit photo and said that shit is not funny. I want to talk about this ASAP Rocky shit because we started Slam, Onyx. Like, like, we started the mosh pit shit, right? Literally. Literally. We can't. We, we pioneered with the mosh pit shit. And like I said, we're working on a documentary called Mosh Pits and Hip Hop. And um, so ASAP Rocky gets crushed, basically, in the mosh pit. I went through a similar situation. I was in Russia, and I jumped in the mosh pit, and it was like crazy. 5,000 people. Everybody knew I jumped in the mosh pit, and I didn't, like, I landed on my feet. So I was standing with everybody. I wasn't being held up. So when you're standing in the mosh pit, everybody knew I was there and they all wanted to like get towards me. So I couldn't breathe. I'm claustrophobic. That sounds Yo, terrible. I almost fainted. Oh, wow. Right? There was one big Russian dude. And I'm like, when ASAP Rocky was like, help, help. I was doing the same shit. I was like, help. <laughs> like, I couldn't breathe. So one dude saw that. He grabbed me and kind of like protected me and, and 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 raised me up. Wow, shout out to him. Almost fainted on stage. Like That's almost crazy. but when I got back to the stage, I laid out on stage for like 10 minutes, just laid out like like I couldn't breathe. So when that shit happened to ASAP Rocky, I was like, "Yo, that same shit happened wow. to me." So I I That's knew what real. he was going through. That shit is serious. Right. It's it's real down there. Don't, I'll, I'll never jump in the mosh pit ever again since that incident. And I advise him not to do, do that shit either. You know? But like, like you said, we pioneered this shit. Onyx, Cypress Hills, Run DMC kind of made the segue with the, with the Aerosmith record. And, you know, Rick Rubin kind, kind of pioneered the sound with the, the hip hop rock shit. But we were the first guys to come out with a record called Slam. And you still see dudes like Little Uzi Vert, ASAP Rocky, Tyler the Creator, all these dudes still influence that culture. You go to their shows, Dimash Pits is still in effect. You know, shout to um, Extension He was jumping from fucking right. 20 feet, fucking off the top shit, crazy shit. Was... And 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 I, the, 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 the documentary that we doing is going to go back and give you the real shit. Because it really started with some niggas called Bad Brains from Washington, D.C. Really? Yeah. They were the first guys who really started that CB, CBGB shit while in the fuck out in, in Soho. Wow. Low East Side in, in Manhattan. I've been doing my research on this shit. I've been living this shit for the last two years because we've been doing a documentary. But um, when I saw that ASAP Rocky shit, that's definitely going in the documentary. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I sent that to Ryan... Ryan Pinkle, shout out to Ryan Pinkle. I, I sent it, I was like, yo, this gotta be in the documentary. It's, and it's it's still, it will never, it was, it's gonna always be, always be here. That's crazy. Yeah. Man, I'm glad you could uh, relate to him. Yeah. 